What's up, guys? We're back on West B Farms, and this is one of my favorite farming series. We're going, and we actually have a helper for today's video. We have Farmer Nick, and we're going to be combine corn. I had to get somebody when we start combine, and so we got Farmer Nick. He literally just started digging in right as I hit the record button, uh, and he's taking the 9670, and it's just demolishing that corn. Now, we don't have the, gr the good corn texture, so that's kind of... Oh, Farmer Nick, you missed one stock, man. Ah, uh, you're good. You're good. Okay, he's going back to get her. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so we're going to get harvesting corn all day. I have one strip to chisel pile yet, and we're done chisel piling the wheat ground. Um, and then I got one more gravity wagon. So what I'm going to do is, Farmer Nick, tell me how full you are, too. Tell me how full that gets. I'm not sure how that corn will yield since we didn't even plant the corn. We bought the property with the corn on it. Um, but I'm, I got a gravity wagon over here. I'm going to hook up to that gravity wagon, and we'll have another pair. So we'll have two pair of gravity wagons. And Farmer Nick, is there, is the other pair, is that, is that full of wheat? Yep. Okay, so that's completely full of wheat. Um, what we'll do is, okay, so, yeah, the goal is, the 4440 is the fastest tractor. The second fastest tractor is the 8400. So I'm going to put the 8400 on this pair right here, most likely. I could put the truck on it, but I'll, I'll use a tractor. Why not use a tractor? So, let me drop this off. Take the F-250, the high boy. I've been loving this truck. I literally, after I got done recording the other video, I went on eBay and Craigslist and stuff and was just looking, you know, how much these trucks go for and stuff. I was like, you know what, it'd be kind of cool to own one of these someday. But uh, yeah, I, I saw like an all green one. It was this kind of paint job. Let me show you guys. All green. It was like original paint. And it wasn't original paint, but it was the original like the original paint color, the ugly green paint color. Let me show you guys. It was, it almost looked like if this loads, come on. There we go. It was this green paint. The olive like green like army paint. And it looked pretty ugly, but it looked it looked class. It looked like a classic and stuff. It was on eBay for twenty grand. I was like, yeah, at sixty seven thousand miles, I was like, darn, that'd be sweet to have someday. So for now, F two fifty is gonna go back here. Eighty four hundred. Farmer Nick, is that is that over on that wheat strip yet? That eighty four hundred? Yep. Is it over by you? Okay. I gotta run out and uh, grab the 8400 quick. I'll start stop jumping because everybody says I act like I'm playing Fortnite, but I'll sprint over there. How full are you, by the way? Oh, I'm not full at all. I got 30,000 on. Okay. Okay, yeah. We'll be good then. So I should be able to till up this strip, drop this ripper while he's harvesting corn, and then catch him in time with the gravity wagons. That's kind of the goal. How much more do I have left? Oh, okay. Maybe I won't be able to catch him. He was just tilling right now, so that's why the ripper's in the ground. Um. Okay. What I ah shoot. I hate to do this, but what I'm gonna have to do is fold up this uh, chisel pile, put it off to the side for now. I was thinking, farm day. You think I should leave the duels on the 8400 or no? What are you gonna pull? Gravity wagons. Wouldn't hurt. Might leave them on. Keep them on. Okay. I'll just keep them on for now. And then it's a lot I'll hook, then. taking them off. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to be chisel pound with this tractor later after harvest. So, yeah, why not? We'll leave them on. 8400 is my favorite tractor. Farm Nick, what about you? You talking farm sim or are you talking real farm, life? No, we're talking farm sim, what I got on this farm right now. I'd probably say that tractor as well. 8400, yeah. So, um, I got to pull over here. Hook up both of these gravity wagons. I mean, to be honest, these are some pretty small gravity wagons. I don't know how many bushels they are. Does it say? I think it might be 400 bushel or so. Should be 400. Yeah, so it's not crazy big. 8400 could easily handle them. I'll back up, attach to this DMI, and then we'll attach to the other DMI here. There we go. It's so easy to steer these things. It's <laughs> Yeah, they are 400 bushels. Now we got 800 bushel behind me. What are you at percentage-wise? Let's unload the go. Okay, this will work good. There we go. I'll pull under you. How fast are you doing? Six mile an hour? Yep. Okay. Hold on. You can go ahead of me for a little bit. I'll catch you. Let me knock my cruise control down to six. There we go. Okay. Now I catch up to him, and then I'll toss cruise control on, and he should be unloading into me. Right there. <laughs> I 
There we go. We are unloading. Perfect. Oh, shoot. See, he starts going faster because he's on the inside, and now I got to catch him. There we go. So this shouldn't take long to knock out this strip, but then we after this, we have a ton more corn all around here. Look at all those strips over there. I've got some other areas we can get yet, too. We've got a lot yet. Honestly, unloading on a gravity wagon, especially these small gravity wagons, gets somewhat tough. I don't like gravity wagons in general. Really? Just sketchy out? You guys don't have any gravity wagons, do you? No, they're a pain in the rear end because they're sloped in, right? And they don't hold like a semi truck. It's a whole bunch of room in them. True. It's only one little apartment. So Makes you gotta sense. You got to be on the ball paying attention to loading them. Yeah, true. They're probably pretty... I feel like they'd be pretty sketchy pull... Oh, actually, I should leave this by you. Uh, it'd be pretty sketchy pulling them down the road, it seems like. I don't know. Not really. Oh, okay. You ever get, like, speed wobble? <laughs> where, they, where, like, the gravity wagon will start swaying a ton? I've seen it in farm sim. I don't know. People have probably had it in real life. There we go. 8400's there. I'm going to grab... Is a 4440 over here? Still, Nick? Yeah. Okay, it's down here. Sorry. Sorry about the jumping. I'm going to run down here, pick up the 4440, bring it back, and Farm Nick, I'll, once we get both these full, I'll have you drive this one, and then I'll take the 8400. We'll head both loads down to uh, the elevator and sell these. We'll keep rolling. Why do you get the bigger tractor? Because <laughs> I'm the boss, brother. I'm the boss. <laughs> Dude, you got the fast, faster tractor, though. <laughs> the 46... Or it's, okay, so it says 4640, but here... It's actually a 4440. I don't know. How much it's horsepower a, does it have? It has... Actually, hey, if you want, I can give you the 4755. Um, let me check how much horse it has, though. There's the 4755. It's a little bigger tractor. If you want a bigger tractor. Um, okay, for horse... Oh, it must be in small tractors. I bet it is. I bet... I wonder if small... No, it's in large tractors. 40, is this it? Yeah, this is it. It says 4640 once you, no, no, is this it? Huh, I have no idea because when it says, is it, okay, well here it says 155 horse, but I can't find the 4440. Yeah. That's a little strange. I can't find it at all. Maybe it is that one. Here, actually, how many of those did I own? Did I own zero of those? That's how I can tell. I own zero of those, so where's my 40? Oh, there it is. Okay, so 155 horse. This is the one I own. I have one of these. Even though it says 4640 on here, it says 4440. All they did is just change the numbers, guys. That's it. They changed the six to a four, and they kept the horsepower and everything the same, which is kind of cool, though. For those big 4440 fans, now they'll like this. So, Okay, I'm going to get you set up, and I'm going to get this... Down by the farm, ready to go on the road, quick. Okay. What percent are you at? Or how many bushels you got in tank? 2,000. Okay. There we go. 4440's ready to go. I'll shut her off quick. That load's ready to go out. Let's go hop in uh, the 8400. Okay, I'm gonna... Do you guys like what... Quick question. Seriously. Um, this is a really realistic series. Do you guys like when I tab to tractors? Or would you rather see me just sprint over to the tractors? It is kind of realistic when you sprint. I mean, most farmers, I guess most farmers want to be sprinting to their tractors. Uh, but I'll sprint over to this tractor. And then Farmer Nick's moving to another field already. Nice. I will be right behind you, Farmer Nick. Farmer Nick is ready to go. I am following him over here. Are we going to be able to make a turn or are we just going to have to sit here for a little bit? Oh, this is kind of rough, this field, to be honest. Now, honestly, when you're when you're when you're farming like really big hills, I feel like you definitely need a little overkill on your equipment. Uh, when you're farming these steep hills and stuff, you need the power compared to just flat land. Flat land, you can get by with a little less horsepower equipment.
Here, if we... Okay, I'll let you get ahead of me, and then I'll catch you when you start going around the other way. Um, here, I can back up. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh gosh, yeah, he's backing up again. He's so quick with the combine, he's just moving around like crazy. Doesn't there we go. when you do it in real life. True. How's the weight going the other way? Good point. Man, it's going to be rough to catch it with all these hills. Oh, it's going to be tough. There we go. I'll let him turn around and then we'll go along with him. What percent are you at right now, by the way? 5,000 bushels. Hmm. How many bushels does that hold? Don't know. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, sorry. I came around too quick. Oh, you meant 5,000 liters. I think it holds 14,000 or maybe 10,000. There we go. Oh gosh. Okay, this is gonna be full soon. Uh, I'll switch to my back one. Oh god, <laughs> I gotta get a little closer. This is uh, this is a little sketchy. There we go. We good now? Too fast. Right there. Okay, I gotta really zoom out to see this. Right, okay. okay. How many, man, how much more do you have left? Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna sit here for now. We'll let him go by. And then uh, one more, let's, let's actually, let's do the calculations on these. So these gravity wagons, I think one more full load of him and we should be good. If he gets a full load, we should be good and we should be ready to head back to the elevator most likely with the 8400 here. We still have, so let's go, actually let's go up in the sky and check this out. So go to harvested. We have yet to get, uh, with harvest total, we're probably what? Like 50% done. You can say 50% done. We'll get this strip done. Probably move on to this strip, finish all these strips and then hit this last big corn strip over here. So it's going to be a while yet. We have, we'll probably fill four more gravity wagons with all this corn and stuff. So by the end of this, hopefully we have like $150,000. And then we can come over here and buy this partial. I'm really excited to buy that. We'll have a little more land. And that's like a perfect amount of land. It's not too crazy just yet. Perfect amount of land. Uh, especially for me. Farmer Nick's just about full. And right now we're trying to finish this whole strip. He may have some he has to leave in the combine. That's fine. As long as we get these gravity wagons full. And I'm going way too fast. There we go. Now we're good. Yeah, that's the fullest I've seen him. I was riding in the back there, up top, just kind of leveling out the corn a little bit while Farm Nick was harvesting in there. Shoot, let me scoot you up. Right there. Dude, you it's... need to go back and take your driver's license, driver's test again. Farmer Nick, do you even have a driver's license? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, no, seriously, it's these, uh, it's these strips. They are tough to get. I'm trying... There we go. Okay, see if you can fill this all the way. I think you should be able to. It'd be kind of cool. You know what? It'd be kind of cool if you could overfill stuff. Like have just corn spill on the ground. Or if there's a mod that like, if you actually accidentally missed or messed up, some corn would go on the ground. It'd be kind of cool. They have that in 17. They did? Did you yeah. ever use it? Yeah. Hmm. There we go. A little in the back yet? Oh, okay. She's full. Okay, take the... We'll take... Oh, actually, it's not completely full. But it's good enough. Close enough. How about we take the... Uh... Let's take the combine up to... I don't know, just close to the farm. Wherever you want to park it. Here, I'll give you a ride back. Actually, you're good. I'll take her to the 
barn door and I wouldn't have to walk. Okay, that'll be good. And then the forty the forty four forty is ready for you, ready for you to go. You can yeah, you can lead the way, I'll follow you because you go a lot faster. You go what, like three mile an hour faster than me in that tractor, I think. I I think it goes twenty four mile an hour. Pretty sure. I'm going nineteen. <laughs> the combine's yeah, I'm going twenty one right now. Combine's almost faster than this tractor. Uh, be careful though. You might have to park it like, yeah, I was going to say. Right, right there. We'll be good. Okay, jump in the 44 and we'll get hauling this grain out. Oh, shoot. Let me stop for a sec. There we go. We are headed. Go here. Yeah, just go take a right. Take a right and you'll basically go all the way to the end of this road. It's the only co-op in town. Best wind wide enough. Oh, just barely. Hitting the road, Jack. We'll be back soon. You'll go all the way down this road. Just set cruise control. And, oh. Oh, shoot. I have it set at 6 mile an hour. Hold on. Let me get it set at like 21. There so we go. So you're telling me you want me to go there first, then come back, and I'll meet you on the road on the way back? Is that what you're telling me? What? No. You're going... Go, go all the way up there, and then... I don't know where the... It's... How do I describe this road? I'll I tell you. I'll, yeah, okay. I'll tell you when to turn, kind of. It's just that co-op up there. Are you doing 24 mile an hour, then? Yep. Okay. I'm doing 21. So, you're logged into my farm. Yeah, you are. Okay, so you can start selling, and then by the time you get done selling, I bet I'll show up, probably. It's just going to... I'm going to be a little ways behind you yet. Farm Nick's going to be 8,500 right now. His second one... Is, that's it. Honestly, for wheat, that's really good. I thought we only got 10 grand last last one for both trailers. So we got an 8,400. So we got 17,000 for those two loads of wheat. And then corn. I gotta check corn prices, but corn prices will probably be better. There we go. Farm Nick. Oh, he's taking a right this time. Nice. He's hitting the road, and I'm pulling in here right now. Honestly, it worked out perfect. We both left at the same time, but he goes a lot faster. And then what he can do is he can start getting back to the combine and start harvesting. Right when I get there, I can unload them. Uh, is this, are we going to fit through here? Okay, we are. We're good. We're good. Now, before we get in here and start unloading it, I'm curious to see what corn prices are going to be. Uh, let's go over here and just check corn prices just compared to wheat and stuff. Seeing what they're giving us per thousand liters. Corn 685. Wheat was 603. Okay, so it's not going to be much different, to be honest. We need beans in here. Beans are at 1,400. I need to buy that bean field. Uh, start overloading. Okay, so we're emptying the back one first. And this will put us over $100,000 in the savings account, too. So that was 9,200. I'm assuming this next one will be even a little worse. Oh, that was 9,660. Oh, that's right. Okay, because the back one we didn't have as much grain in. Uh... Farmer Nick, how did you turn it? How did you turn around in here, man? <laughs> what the? Oh, oh. We'll just say I know how to drive. Yeah, you do know how to drive. I pulled. I pulled in the wrong entrance. Did you, you? Okay. Yep. He pulled in this entrance. He was actually smart and pulled in this one, and then pulled through the other one. What I did. Yeah. Okay. Nice. He he figured it out better. I I basically just went around. Um, I should have pulled in right there. But we'll head back. We'll take this way around. And then you you're, he's probably almost back by now. Once we get back, we'll start unloading again and just keep this process repeating. I'm going to be honest. It was kind of an accident. Okay, so what happened is we were going down this long road. And I was like, Nick, I go, I go, uh, I go pee quick and get a drink. And I was like, I bet I could just keep it on cruise control and walk away from the computer and then come back. And right as I got here, I got like right here. I jumped on my keyboard, started turning up the hill, and that kind of caused it to tip. And so we got the 8400 completely tipped with my gravity wagons. Like, I didn't even set this up. 
I mean, I knew maybe it would go off the road, but I didn't set this up or anything. It just, it happened. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to, like, just, I don't know how to get this stuff out of here. I'm probably just going to lift it up out of there and then put it on the road. But I wanted to kind of show you guys this, something different, I guess, something interesting. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to pull this stuff up here. So we have the grab anything mod. This is the unrealistic part of my videos. And what you can do is you can grab it, and then you can just tip that over, and Gravity Wagon should go, and Gravity Wagon's wet. But I thought I could make it, and right when I got there, I started, I, like, it was, like, it was right here. It was just slowly going off the road. I start turning back up, and it starts flipping. But I made it here, Nick. Are you, how long have you been in the combine? Like, a couple minutes? I've almost been around once. Okay. I will, um, I gotta figure out where you're at quick i guess you got the 4440 there so you can unload two out there you i think the it, track they're chisel plowing true um yeah dude honestly good idea i'll take the 4755 and throw duels back on that oh shoot do i have a repair shop if not i'm gonna have to buy a repair shop and i'll throw duels on that 4755 and start chisel plowing with that that's a perfect tractor to chisel plow too it's heavy it doesn't have quite the horse as a 8400, but it'll work good, so. Where are you at? You must be down in that valley or something down there. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm coming. Hiding. I'm still trying to figure out where he is. He's got, it. yep. Uh, well, I see his first pass over there. I'll put the gravity wagon close to you. Okay, I'm gonna run out in this field. Yeah, he's on the backside over there. Do you need unloaded or do you just want me? I'm just gonna put the gravity wagon kind of at the end because I'm sure I won't be able to get back in time to unload you on the go. If that's okay. Just leave her there. Okay. I'll, make her. I'll just. Here, yeah, let me put it uh, here. I'll put it right here. That way you can get a little on the go if you want. There we go. 8400's there. Let me. T so I'm gonna actually tab over to 4755. And then, do we have a shop in here that works? I don't... I don't know if any of this actually works. I doubt it does. Let me just back up, I guess, buy it. We'll see. I don't know if you can actually... I doubt this works. Yeah, okay. Nothing back here triggers anything. What I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, is pay for a workshop. And these things... Man, I hope... Wait. Uh, start filling. Oh, that's fuel. Okay. That's diesel fuel. So, I need my shop down. $28,000. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh, Giants. You're pricing this stuff, huh? Can a brother get a break? Because farmers don't get breaks. So, we'll put... Uh, I don't know. Should we just put it right... This is kind of blocking the area where I was putting some gravity wagons. I would like to put it... This is the one thing that I'm going to change on the farm. Placing down this, guys. Some guys said don't change anything... And I agree, I probably shouldn't change anything. I should probably leave it how it is. But we do need a workshop. We kind of do pull a lot of equipment right by here. But, hmm. I do like this spot for, like, parking gravity wagons. For now, I'll put the workshop here. There we go. That's the one thing we... Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Let me go in the landscape tool and level it out just a bit. And it's going to cost me more money to level this out. But it's fine. I know I should have put it maybe a little lower. I'll go over here, and we'll just level her out real nice here. I just want to, this corner and stuff, and this hill on this side, and then we should be good. Smooth it out a little bit. It didn't do too much, to be honest. So I'm going to pull the 4755 up there, toss duels on her, and then she'll be ready to go for chisel plowing. <laughs> it's pretty darn steep pulling up here. There we go. We'll go customize. I could repair it, I guess. Uh, wheel set. Oh, no, that's weights. What weight set do we have? I think we had this set. And then we'll throw duels. So now we have duels on there. It's going to cost me... Oh, it's going to cost me four grand to add duels. It's fine, though. See, it actually... It kind of sucks when you're actually playing with real money. Because usually, you know, I'm always adding money and stuff. But this is actually... I want to get to $120,000 so I can buy that piece of land across the road. Maybe I could take out a loan. I don't know. I kind of want to be a cash run business, though. We're hooking up to the chisel plow. I'm going to unfold her. We'll get going. We'll see how good the 4755 pulls. 
Drop her down and get bowling, baby. Okay, we're pulling at nine mile an hour. Just fine. I know it's kind of crazy. Uh, especially for a 4755 to be pulling at nine mile an hour. It's way too fast, but it kind of helps us get the job done pretty quick. Honestly, it's too fast to where, like, I, I'm having trouble staying aligned and stuff. It's pulling, though. I, we're doing... We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so I plan on getting the rest of this chisel plowed up in a later video. Farmer Nick is finishing up corn. Actually, we're going we're gonna to have a whole other episode of just finishing corn. Because corn's going to take forever. And then we'll have to get all this tilled yet. I may buy another chisel plow. So we can run the 8400 and 4755. Then again, I do want to buy that other piece of land. So I don't know yet. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're liking the West B series, let me know. Hit that like button, guys, and I'll see you later. Thank you so much again for watching. A giveaway video should already be announced or is coming very soon. Thanks, guys.